Hello, and welcome to Did It For Bode. You've seen our boat. Oh my god! Oh! You've seen our flying machine. Well now, we plan to make a car. Yes, and it's going to be a great car. A brilliant car. And coming up now is a video of it. Yeah. And then it'll cut to the bit where we're in the caravel. No, it won't. We need to say something about inspiration. Oh god, you're right. Do the voiceover bit, then we'll cut to the thing. Who does the voiceover? Who does the voiceover? Is it me? To find interior design inspiration, we came here. Well, this is this is the Volkswagen Caravelle. And it's um Well it's, it's quite dull, isn't it? It it's not it's not a, a Ferrari four five eight. No it's not. But there are certain ideas in here from which we can draw our inspiration. Exactly this. Touring car style gear lever, for example. I want that in my house. Yeah, and look at all these buttons like yes, AS exactly. and FM. CD What's player? TP? I have no idea. I think it's traction control. Or Chebecca, no, that's TB, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? What? We need to try another type of car. That's a good idea, get a different perspective. Exactly. So, we're in here, and it's a Range Rover. Yeah, a Range Rover Sport. And there is much in the way of sumptuous leather. And, and wood. And wood and armrests. It's very nice. Yeah. But, in these times of financial woe and George Osborne's, um, it, it's a bit... This just wouldn't, this wouldn't do well in a communistical marketplace. No, it? no. And I think ours has to be able to appeal to the people. Yeah, and yes. almost none of this car is made of cardboard. Exactly. And that's just silly. It is. Ridiculous. So, keeping that in mind, yes. I suggest that we take the best bits of the Caravelle yes. and the best bits of the Range Rover and throw them away and then make a completely different car. So I got to work. What they like to do at McLaren, or Ferrari when they're building a car, is get a, a sterile factory where no dust or dirt is allowed because that can corrupt the car. That's not what I've done. I've come down here to uh, what I'm going to call my workshop from now on, and I've surrounded myself with bits of rope and bamboo and, uh, oh, oh, and, um, and uh, cardboard and a big knife. And what I'm about to do is show you how to make a car. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Welcome back. Now, while Matthew was doing that, I was trying to balance my chi, get in touch with the artistic world, and design the body for our car. What I intend to do is draw on the artistic qualities of some paintings, like this one. Um, you can see these three boats here, very, very artistic. Um, and I, I, perhaps I could combine that with the artistic merits of um, this is this bug, um, uh, Metamorphosis Giriatulus. And I think that would do well, um, in, in, a, in, a, in an artistic way. One of the most important things when building a car is tyre compound. Now, tyres have to be of the right compound, otherwise they won't stick to the road as well. And they have to be the right size. These are all very important things that I will be seeking to get right with our car. Papyrus is an interesting idea, but perhaps too flimsy for our car. Still, a good source of artistic inspiration though. Lovely detail! In a moment, 
I shall be appearing over there. Thank you. No, I thought the flying machine was quite artistic in itself, so perhaps, perhaps, we could draw some inspiration from it. I mean, this isn't all of it, obviously, it's just this bit. Lovely detail! Um, but I don't know, but these look quite good. I think we could draw some inspiration from there. And I do like this brown as well, that's, that's going well. So I think I'll, I'll take my artistic inspiration and I'll do a drawing, a sketch, a concept car. It is now the next day and I have finished my design. Matthew is currently outside. I'm outside. Eagerly awaiting the revelation of the car. And I'm eagerly awaiting the revelation of the car. Are you ready to see the car, Weldon? I think I'm ready. Am well, I ready? I think I'm ready. Good. It's over there. I'm quite pleased with it. I think what is fun. that? That is brilliant. That is... Yeah, right, it is, it's beautiful in its own way. I've taken my inspiration from uh, the great Japanese designer, Jujaro, you see. It's a minimalist design. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> what, what is it made of? Cardboard. Yeah, I th yeah, I thought it might be. When you drive this underwater, not only will you be able to breathe through this bit, yeah. but it will dissolve and you'll be able to escape. Anyway, my favourite bit though is this. Is that a shower? Yes. Right. It's air conditioning is quite expensive and we decided simply to go for this, which is um, on a hot day, you get it out, you turn on the shower and well, Matthew, if you'd care to demonstrate how One slight disadvantage is that you have to be near a water source. But that's no more inconvenient really than an electric car where you have to be near a plug. Like normal for Scotland, it's like saint out here and it's absolutely roasting. So uh, I'll just uh, turn on the shower if you don't mind. This is then sent to the car via a big long tube. That's just silly. So I took the car onto the road. It may look as if our car is quite slow, but you have to remember that it's being driven by a spanner, who weirdly was all full of complaints. There are a few problems with it. There's the noise, which is biblical, and then there's the kind of the practicality issue. I mean, ah! So far then, the car was working well, but before you can sell a car in Europe, the EU says that it has to pass a series of safety tests. So bearing that in mind, we lined up for the next test. That's incredible! There isn't a dent on it. And if there is, well, you're never going to be able to tell, are you? No, I mean, it's literally a 
son's fail. Satisfied that the car was safe, Andrew took the car onto the road to test the high speed handling. Oh, ow! You just get the odd sense as you drive around that you look slightly conspicuous. I can't quite put my finger on why, but um, needless to say that in a town like this, a car like this, perhaps might need some uh, stolen wheels or something. How is it? There are certain problems with it. Like what? Well, tell you what. Right. Take this, go for a drive, and you'll see what I mean. Right, okay. And I will... Uh... So I headed back onto the road, and if I'm honest, um, it didn't go well. Andrew, uh, there's been a bit of an accident. There had indeed been an accident. It, it's not. It's not as bad as it first appears. You are a complete baboon. It's fallen yes. over. Uh, it's fallen over. Uh, oh my god. What are all the, the ladies and gentlemen going to do at home? They were all they're basing their future around this thing. They're gonna have to commit suicide now, thanks to you. Yes they are. And for that I apologize. I'm sorry, it it was him. I'm sorry. Sorry. So there you are. If you want a cheap, fast and fun small car. Made of cardboard. Then there's one lying upside down somewhere in Scotland. A little bit. Yes. Mm. I'm sure you'll agree that it was mostly his fault. Except it wasn't. Anyway, if you're a YouTuber then uh, please comment and, and like and subscribe even. Yeah, and if you have Facebook then there should be a link in the channel, or the comment thing below that will take you to a Facebook page and you can peruse uh, two statuses that we've made and, um, and like us. That'd be nice. Anyway, he's been Matthew. And I've been Matthew. What? Good night.